Hi folks, Frank the Pest Geek here. Listen, sometimes no matter what we do, we just ain't gonna fix it. There is something beyond the scope. Check this out. Here is a typical yard, backyard in an HOA association in Miami. And the problem with this property is, look at this massive live oak tree. And look at all the shade it casts the entire day. This grass, has never looked nice. We've been doing this house probably now for 10 years. This is as best as it's gonna look. Even if you trim that tree down to let a lot more sunlight in, it's not going to. Plus it has massive roots that are competing for resources. You have these old ficus trees that are right there. They're also competing for resources. And look over here. This is the sun part. Look how nice that lawn looks. Then they just made this new deck to out overlook the lake. But what do you have on this side that looks horrible? Well, we got a couple of problems here that we can't overcome. Number one, there's no irrigation over here along the lake. So when there's drought, it's gonna get chinch bug, it's gonna get attractive. Second, we can't spray anything 10 feet from that lake, not allowed. Most products will have a 10 to 15 foot restriction. We use products that give us a 10 foot. You're gonna have weeds. And there's nothing I can do about those weeds. I can't treat them. I can't do anything about it. Florida says, nope, 10 feet from a body of water, you're not allowed to spray. So that weed's always gonna be there. I'm always gonna be battling it, coming up and creeping up where I can do the line, basically, and, and bury it. But as you can see, there is some weed there and it's stressed. There's a grass weed growing there. There's nothing we can do about that. You're gonna have to hand pull it. There's a couple of weeds we treated for that, you know, and that's it. That's all we can do. You know, you've got these palm trees around here. You know, there's areas of shade. No matter what, the grass just simply isn't gonna grow there, no matter what you do. And it's stressed. Most likely irrigation doesn't reach it. So it gets drought stress. We're at 90 plus degrees right now at the end of May. And look at the casting we have of the palm trees and of the shade from that tree plus the amount of water that that tree is requiring to drink from that soil in order to survive there. So yes, there's things we're not gonna be able to do. Hey folks, if this video has been helpful to you, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a spectacular day.